What is up guys, Ed here, and today's move with Rhino, we wanna show you guys our workflow and file storage management and which gear we use before, during, and after our shoots for this. So let's go. All right guys, so before we go shoot, we make sure we have the proper SD cards, but to hold our SD cards, we use this Pelican SD card case that we bought off Amazon. We'll make sure to drop a link down below. The SD card that we use is actually the SanDisk Extreme Pro. The reason why we use this SD card is actually because it writes at 95 megabytes per second. It's a UH3 SD card at class 10, which means that we can shoot 4K video without having any hiccups. So with this SD card, we're gonna put it into the cameras now, get some photos, get some video, and yeah, let's go. All right, we decided to take a break. We got our coffee from Anthem as always. And we kind of want to show you guys what product we use in order to back up our footage while we're out shooting. Because you never know what can happen to your SD cards. They could get corrupt or you might even lose your SD cards. So it's always safe to back them up when you can. So the product that we like to use is actually the Narbox. This is such a rad product and let me show you why. So the cool thing about the Narbok is actually a portable hard drive, but the difference between a normal hard drive is you don't actually need a computer to dump your footage. There's actually ports on the side of this hard drive where you could put like an SD card, a micro SD card, even a, a USB and a 2.0 port where you can dump your footage from even an ex another external hard drive. But for today's video, we're gonna actually put in an SD card from the footage that you just saw in the pictures and put it onto the Narbox without a computer, which is pretty crazy. So I'm gonna grab the SD card from the camera we were just using. I'll take it from the photo camera. And we're actually gonna put it into the Narbox, just like that. Now, you might be wondering, okay, how do I back the SD card into the Narbox? They actually have an app that's controlled via Wi-Fi. You don't actually need any kind of cellular connection or Wi-Fi, uh, but that's how you connect it, just like Bluetooth. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna power on the Narbox, I'm gonna grab my phone. Uh, Brandon, could you actually move the screen just a little bit so we can show them the screen recording? So now that the Narbox is on, I'm screen recording on my phone. Let me show you guys. So you open the Narbox app after you've connected it. And if you go to devices here, you'll see that there's the SD card that I just inserted a second ago. You click on the SD card and you can see all the files that we just shot previously. So what's cool about it is we'll hit select and let's just say we have all these. I could shoot, I could select all the files that we just shot uh, from today. And what's great about it is all I gotta do is hit copy files to the NAR box, hit okay, boom, done. I already backed up all my files and I don't have to worry about potentially not having the files if I lose my SD card or if it gets corrupted along the way. Now the files are all exported from the SD card into the Narbox. We don't have to worry about it because if the SD card gets lost or the files get corrupted, it's on the Narbox, so we're good to go. Another cool thing about the Narbox is that in the app, once it's been backed up, you can actually export the photos that you've taken and put it onto your phone. So let's say you have a couple bangers that you got for the Instagram. You can actually export it straight from the Narbox, edit it in your phone editor, and post it onto social media, which is a big plus, especially if you're trying to be efficient and get good content up in a timely manner. Another one of our favorite features about the Narbox is actually its build quality. It's just built so well. It feels like a brick, but it's not too heavy when you travel with it. All the ports are enclosed on like traditional external drives. You never have to worry about water or snow or any kind of you know natural forces getting inside of your port to corrupt your drive. It's just really user friendly. You just take out your phone, fire it up, and we actually love this thing. But the crazy part is Narbox actually has a 2.0 that just came out that they just launched their Kickstarter on. This is their first version. The second version has way more features in the app. Actually also gonna be having an OLED screen on it. But in the meantime, the 1.0 still gets the job done and we love this device. 
Now that you guys know what gear we use and how we manage our files before we shoot, while we shoot, I wanna show you guys how we manage our files after we shoot in the editing room and how we back up our footage permanently. So let's go do that. All right guys, so now we're back at the Rhino office in the studio and we're gonna show you guys what we do to back up our footage permanently and what we use to edit off of. So first things first, before we explain what this is, we have the NAR box here. I'm gonna plug it into the computer so we can access the files. So as you can see here, the NAR box is actually now connected to the computer and I can access those files that we just dumped into the box earlier. Now here next to me is actually the Drobo 5D3. This is what we use to actually back up all of our storage and we actually edit off of this drive as well. The 5D3 uses a USB-C and Thunderbolt 3 connection, which means it's super fast, very reliable, and actually when using a MacBook or a laptop, the Drobo 5D3 actually charges your MacBook just as a charger would. We've been using Drobo for a while now just to back up all of our storage. We love it because, well for one, it looks really sleek, but mainly because it's very reliable and it's sturdy and we never had it crash on us once yet. Drobo 5D3 is a direct attached storage system, so DAS. There's actually five bays in here. So we're currently using the Iron Wolf Seagate drives that were sent to us. However, you can use any SSD and attach it into any of the five bays. Another great feature of the Drobo 5D3 is that it uses Drobo's Beyond RAID technology. That's actually the RAID storage technology, which means that if one drive fails or gets corrupted, you don't have to worry about your files being gone. It actually allocates the files across all five slots, which means you don't have to worry about you know, losing all of your files if one of them gets corrupted, which is a great feature to have because nothing worse than losing all of your files because you're relying on one drive. So we're gonna show you guys briefly the Drobo dashboard. What's great about the Drobo dashboard is you can actually access all the system within the plugin that you download through Drobo's website. You can look at the capacity that it has. You can also even shut off the Drobo from here um, and actually reformat it if you need to. It's a very intuitive tool and it gives you confidence that your files are in a safe place. Now we're gonna show you what we name our folders and how we back up our footage after a shoot. So we have our Narbox drive here with our files. We're gonna open up the Drobo 5B3 folder. We're gonna create a new folder. We'll label this Tacoma Downtown. So we like to go up in the project idea and down to the micro folder. So we have Tacoma Downtown. We shot with three different cameras, so we will do a folder for each camera. We have the Sony FS5, we have the Sony A7 III, and we had the Canon 6D. So now what we do from here is dump all the necessary footage into the proper folder. So this was all the footage from the Canon 6D. We're gonna go into that folder. Another cool thing that we like to do is we usually get photos and videos out when we're shooting. And so we like to create a fourth folder called photos. And within there, we have two folders called raw and edit. So all the photos that we capture out while we're shooting, we put into the raw folder, and that way it's easy to find in Lightroom or any photo editing software that you guys use. And as soon as they're done, we export them into the edited folder. It keeps it really clean cut. We know where all the raw photos are and where all our edited photos are. The reason why we like having all of our files, including projects, photos, videos, in one central location is because sometimes we're editing off different computers and we like to be able to just take one folder, put it into a drive and edit off that drive if we aren't at our desktop with our Drobo 5D3. We hope that video was helpful for you guys. It wasn't anything too crazy, nothing new, but we wanted to share with you guys what gear we use in terms of SD cards, you know, our NAR box, and what RAID storage system we use when working with our projects and backing up our footage. If you guys have any recommendations on what you guys do with storage management, feel free to leave a comment down below. We'll be sure to check it out. And as always, like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.